What is going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Scarlet playthrough. In the last episode, we pretty much left off at the lighthouse where we had just met up with Coridon, our legendary partner Pokemon, so to speak. Um, and we're basically just starting off and trying to get to school. Uh, so this is just our normal everyday commute to school. Um, all right, so let's get going and uh, head on over to the lighthouse. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to uh, getting into the swing of things and picking up some permanent members of the team because uh, we pretty much have a full team right now, but might not be keeping all these. Uh... All right, so we have a mysterious fellow saying, why that little? What are you doing out here? I'm not talking to you two. You can shove off. Doesn't sound too nice. Wait, I know you. Aren't you Arvin? You're enrolled in the humanities track, right? And aren't you the son of that Pokemon researcher, Professor Sada? Doesn't matter who my mom is. The real issue here is that uh, is what in the world this Pokemon is doing out here, and what is this form it's in? Uh, I met it at the bottom of this cliff, or it saved me from a tight spot. Well, both happened, but yeah, saved me, uh, saved my butt there pretty well. See, we heard this strange cry, and we tried to investigate, but Arnell fell off a cliff. That Pokemon saved him, but it seems like it wore itself out in the process. It got kind of slumpy afterward. But you should have seen it before. It looked totally different. It was unbelievably strong. Well, yeah, as it should be, but it can't fight while it's like this. The form Coridon takes in battle, that's its true form. Coridon? Is that this Pokemon's name? How do you know it? You can't go in the lab, it's locked. I don't remember ever seeing you around, but given the uniform, you go to the academy too. Don't you, uh, do you? Coridon isn't the sort of Pokemon that can that any old trainer can hope to command. It's special. Special? How? What sort of Pokemon is it? You think you're up to ordering Coridon around? Then how about I test your worthiness? Okay, sure. Ha, well, look at you. Quite the little go-getter. I've been feeling all sort, all, all out of sorts, so I'm going to use this battle to blast these doldrums away. I love how they all have, like, unique battle animations, like just getting into battles. Squovet. All right. Go Quaxly. Oh, yeah, I wasn't able to give... I wasn't able to access my bag in the last episode, so... I wasn't able to heal up my Quaxley, but I guess he's just healed now, so... Alright, that's cool. Alright, let's go ahead and use that water gun. Tackle, huh? Alright. Let's go ahead and take him out. And that was it. Alright, cool. Disarming voice and leer. All right, cool. Yeah, sorry, buddy. Seems you know a thing or two about battle. Almost like we've done this before. Wow, Arnell, that was awesome. I guess I wasn't ever going to stand a chance using some Pokemon I'd only just caught. But if you really think you can take Coridon off my hands for me, you'll need this. It's the Pokeball that Brute's kept, been kept in. Cool. 
Uh, Coridon's Pokeball. A Pokeball that can hold the mysterious Pokemon known as Coridon. Some kid named Arvin gave it to you. <laughs> so why'd you have it? Anyway, that's the thing. That's uh, That thing's your problem now, not mine. Good luck. Can you not hear me or something? Fine, be that way, but you better actually slow up, uh, show up for school. What a weirdo. And just like that. All right, cool. Part of the team, but not really. That Arvin guy definitely know more knows more than he's letting on. Next time he and I are battling, I'm going to wring some answers out of him. But, oh, right, we gotta climb the lighthouse. Can't wait to show you the view of our school. Alright, let's head on up. Take in that view. Look at that. Alright, so we see Hogwarts over there, and then we see some mountains, and, uh... A lot of ocean. All right, cool. Look, Arnell, that's Metsagoza. And that huge building with the Pokeball on it is our school. Naranja Academy. I'm probably saying that wrong. I've probably been saying it wrong this whole time, but... Oh, well. It's going to be so great having you in the same class. Looking forward to it. I can't wait to get back. We're going to get to learn so much and battle so much. Isn't it awesome what you can see from up here? Mountains, forests, grasslands, beautiful nature stuff as far as the eye can see. And you know what's waiting for you all over these natural spaces? Tons of Pokemon. Consider this me officially telling you, welcome to Paldea. But anyway, like you can see, it's kind of a hike to get to school from here. Let's make it to Los Platos, for sure. That's right on the way. Vamos, come on. I think we'll be able to pick up one of our permanent team members on our way to the school. Uh, should be able to find a, f um, a Fletchling on the way there, if I remember correctly. I think we already have a Hoppip. And we definitely have a Lechonk. Got our first trainer up here. Alright, we got another Scatterbug there. Alright, let's go ahead and battle. Hold on, let's see if we need to switch anything out. Um... I think we're good. Actually, before we battle the trainer, let me see if I can actually get another member of the team. Oh, hey, Psyduck. What's going on, man? All right, let's go ahead and catch him. What's going on, buddy? All right. Level 7. Not bad. Um, what is this again? Work up. Alright, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And then we'll hit him with a pound. That could be a little bit dangerous. I mean, Sadak is a, a close level to me, but I think we should be okay. I think we should be okay. I mean, there's no way he can one shot us unless he gets a critical but all right one more pound and then we're going to throw a pokeball and let's hope that we can actually catch it on this one because that was three tail whips uh, might be in a tough spot so pretty much what we're going to be trying to do in this playthrough is um trying to catch every pokemon that we can uh, and definitely getting as many Paldea, uh, or just any 
any Pokemon that's in the Pokedex for this game, uh, for the most part. Um, and uh, uh, let's go ahead and just add him. We'll swap him out with Young Goose. Um, and yeah, basically catching as many Pokemon as we can in Scarlet and uh, completing the decks from what we can. Obviously, there's the game-specific Pokemon, but uh, that said, um, we should be able to catch as much as we can, um, keep certain Pokemon for our permanent members of the team, and then from there... Oh, hey, Bleasel, what's going on, buddy? But, uh, but yeah, that's basically why we're attacking as many Pokemon as we can. So there's definitely no shortage of water types as you come up to uh, the first town. All right, let's do one more pound and then we'll throw a Pokeball. And let me know if you've played this game, what were some of your favorite Scarlet editions of, uh, of like, Paldea, you know, Pokemon that are here. Um, definitely a favorite of mine of a new Pokemon that's in this region is uh, Tinkatink. Or no, Tinkaton. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's an awesome, awesome book. It's one of those, like, really cute faces, but, like, also kind of, like, derpy, glazed eyes. Like, just not, it might not be the smartest Pokemon that's out there. But it's also incredibly tough and dangerous. It's super awesome. All right, so we got our Buizel, and we won't give it a nickname. We'll send it to the box. Actually, let's set the setting where it automatically goes to the box. Um, all right, so let's go to options. Uh, send to boxes, automatic. There we go. Cool. All right, so like I said, I'm really trying to find a um, Fletchender. And I don't know. Honestly, I probably should have looked it up beforehand. Um, I don't remember if it's this early in the route. Or if it's just when you leave the school. I don't remember. But I remember it is a relatively early Pokemon. Catch this Azuril. And I'll probably just walk a couple more steps, see if I see anything else that's new around the corner. And then uh, if not, then I'll head back up, take out that one trainer. All right, Quaxley wants to learn a wing attack. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. That's actually going to be pretty helpful. That's pretty cool, though. Even though he's not a flying type, he can learn a flying type move because he's a duck and he has wings. So that's pretty cool. All right. All right, let's see if there is anything else new up around here. I think, actually, yeah, I think there's like a little beach up ahead. Um, but I don't think it's going to have what we're looking for. And there are some wiglets there and a Magikarp. All right, let's go ahead and catch this Magikarp. Oh, wait, no, actually, we can get a, a Wiglet. All right, let's go ahead and just catch a Wiglet and a Magikarp. We'll head back up.
All right. All right, cool. I think it is pretty funny how Wiglets and uh, Wug Trios uh, immediately, like, try to hide as quick as they can. It's just funny to see that kind of behavior. All right. Getting attacked by the deadly splash. Alright, well, let's go ahead and catch this Magikarp and we'll be on our way. Alright, cool. An underpowered, pathetic Pokemon. It may jump high on rare occasions, but never more than seven feet. Very specific number. All right. So we got our Magikarp. All right. And let's go ahead and head on out of here. Alright, so no luck on our early Pokemon, which I feel like we'll run into it very soon, but I might just be uh, jumping the gun, thinking I can get it earlier than I can. And we're going to take out this one trainer that's waiting for us. Alright, so we're going to slide through here. Alright, oh, we're going to Pick that up. Cool. Alright, let's go ahead, buddy. If you talk to a Pokemon trainer like me, it means we're gonna battle. Alright, buddy. Take it easy, youngster. Tarantula. Taran... Taran... No. Yeah, Tarantula. Tarantula? I don't know. Some of these names are interesting. Sorry, buddy. Got that wing attack just in time, huh? Hop up wants to learn Fairy Wind. Okay, sure. He's not gonna be on the team for very long, but that's that's a decent attack. All right, so we'll take out Tail Whip. All right. Your Pokemon are strong, huh? Yeah, thanks, man. I beat up all your Pokemon and I stole your money. Alright, what do we got around us? Anything? Oh, did I hear a Gimmigool? Where is he? Oh, there he is. Cool. Thanks, man. Oh, hey, there you are. Look at these pommies. Yeah, I think I said in the last episode, pommies are way smaller than I would think that they should be. Just based on, like, a picture, like, they just seem bigger. Like, they seem like they should be bigger than they actually are in the game. Um, and they're, like, super easy to, like, walk past. Like, if I didn't hear them make that sound, I would have just walked right past all of them. Alright, cool. It has underdeveloped electric sacs on its cheeks. These sacs can produce electricity only if Pommy rubs them furiously with the pads on its forepaws. Cool. Alright. All right, let's see. Anything else up here? Oh, hey. Got something right there. 
endure. Okay. Oh, yes, I see those Fletchenders right there. Fletchlings. Perfect. Okay, oh, and I see a Ralts right there. Oh, this is perfect. Actually, I'm going to run because I just realized I threw it at the first one I saw. And there might be a higher level one. And there's also a Ralt. Okay, so there's a level six right here. I'm going to catch that one. I don't think it'll get much better than that. And so we're going to catch that, and we're going to catch the Ralts as well. That's really exciting, because that's going to be... It won't be a per, uh, permanent um, member of the team, but uh, I am going to be excited to have that as part of the team. And it'll definitely um, be very helpful in some of the some of the gems that we have up ahead. Alright, so we just got our first permanent addition to the team, Fletchling. At least permanent for now. I can't think of another fire flying type that I want to keep on the team once it's finally evolved. Um, Alright, so we got our Fletchling. Okay, and where did that Ralt go? I where are you, buddy? Oh, there you are. Caught you unawares, huh? All right. Uh, let's do pound, because I don't want to kill it. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad I did pound, because water gun might, might not have been too good. All right. We got our semi-permanent addition to the team. I'll probably keep it until it's a Gardevoir. Um, because I definitely want to get a Tinkaton. Again, because that Fairy and Steel type is just... Whew, yeah, really, really good stuff. All right, so we got our Ralts and the Feeling Pokemon. Huh, that's interesting. Must have missed that. Okay. All right. So we've got some good stuff here. Oh, we got an Iggly buff right here. Uh, let's go ahead and catch it. Probably should have healed up Quaxly, though. It's not tuned too well. All right. Let's go with a water gun. And let's see if we can catch that. I think I see a Fido up ahead, too. All right. Its body has a faintly sweet scent and is bouncy and soft. If it bounces even once, it cannot stop. Huh. Wow. All right. Uh, what is that? I think it's a Fido up ahead. Yep. Let's go Water Gun. All right. Let's go ahead and catch that. We're going to heal up at the Pokemon Center, and then we're going to... Uh, make our way to the school. Like, I remember the first time I played through this game, and uh, I would just get so lost. Like, just, I would spend, like, hours just exploring um, the region, and, like, that amazement of, like, coming into a new area and, like, seeing what Pokemon are there. Like, just having a open world like this is just one of the best things that uh one of the best shifts that they could have done ever since uh yeah legends arceus would have been the first one yeah arnell over here this here is a pokemon center you can come here to take care of a lot of things related to your pokemon but i'll leave the explanation of the pros here 
Happy to be of service, and welcome to the Pokemon Center. I'm here to keep everyone's Pokemon healthy. Here on my left is the Pokemart uh, Poke counter. You can buy things like Pokeballs and potions. Hello, we accept payment both in cash and in League Points. You know, <laughs> the League Points... Um, I'm sure that there's a reason for them, but I have not done anything at all with the League Points in my entire previous playthrough. So, just wanted to throw that out there. And the Technical Machine Machine, <laughs> TM Machine for short. It's your ticket to making TMs, which you can use to teach moves to your Pokémon. You'll need to pay in League Points and supply the machine with materials that Pokemon drop. Again, I didn't do this not even once before, so. Uh, League Points come in handy both at these machines and at stores. I've got a lot. Here, have some. Cool, thanks. Everyone's just uh, giving me money. That's cool. 5,000 League Points. They're loaded. Oh, yeah, and some of these, too. Uh, Pokemon materials. Cool. And at the Union Circle, you can connect with other trainers to find yourself some adventuring companions. Come visit us at the Pokemon Center anytime you need help. We will, thanks. Had a rough adventure? Get to the Pokemon Center. Sometimes you have to know this sort of stuff for quizzes at school. Um, but mnemonics help out. Here's another one. Are you ready? Then let's go. Goofy, sure, but it helps you remember you can send your lead Pokemon out with the R button. Oh, yeah, that's right. I completely forgot. Um, that way you can have the Pokemon that's walking with you go pick up items lying around. Or go battle on its own or other stuff like that. So, yeah, basically you can send your Pokemon out to essentially auto battle other pokemon that's around it and it can pick up stuff that's just left on the ground uh yeah auto battles okay cool all right so let's go ahead and heal up hello and welcome to the pokemon center hello let's heal my pokemon Oh, I forgot to put my uh, Fletchender and... Uh, or no, Fletchling. I always get the, <laughs> those two evolutions mixed up. I forgot to put the Fletchling and the Ralt in our team, so we're going to want to do that. By the way, did you know when you're feeling lost, you can go to any Pokemon Center, get help, tips... All right, cool. Or did you know that already? Well, I do hope my little tidbits come in handy. Come back and see us again whenever you need. All right, so let's swap out some stuff. All right, so we got our Fletchling. Um, we're going to swap out Hoppip. And we have our Ralts. We're going to swap out Ralts for Tarantula. And yeah, I think we're good. They're all healed up. They're all ready to go. All right. All right, so we are trying to head to the school. So let's go right up to the school. It's, uh, it's pretty cool how they have, like, people just casually strolling in the town with their Pokemon and stuff like that. It's, I don't know, it's just it's pretty cool. Uh, you know what? Let's swap out... Let's put Fletchling up to the front. All right, let's do another trainer battle. Perfect timing. You wanted to challenge me to a Pokemon battle, right? Yes, what gave it away? Carlotha. Oh, Boon Sweet. All right, nice. Well, that'll be perfect for my uh, flying type to take out. It is a bug type, right? I don't know. We're going to find out. All right, Peck. Okay, it is. All right. I wasn't sure if it was a just a fairy type or just not a fairy type at all. Oops, I couldn't remember. All right, well, that wasn't too bad. 
The opposing boon suite fainted. All right. Sweet. Way to go, a fletchling. I stepped up and got smacked down. <laughs> nice. Yeah, sorry to do that to you. All right, uh, let's go ahead and grab this ball here. And are there any new Pokemon in the area here? Oh, we have something here. What is that? Oh, that's a um, Grafii. Or no, that's he evolves into Grafii. Shrewdle. Yep, yeah, okay, cool. Uh, I think you're a bug type, so I'm not going to peck you. I'm glad I didn't peck, because peck probably would have taken you out in one shot. Alright, let's go ahead. Oh, yeah, we probably want to get some more Pokeballs. Yeah, let's head back to the Poke Center and get some Pokeballs. Though usually a mellow Pokemon, it will sink its sharp, poison-soaked front teeth into any that anger it, causing paralysis in the object of its ire. All right. Okay, so let's go up. Okay, all right. Let's go ahead and grab this. And we're going to go down to the center. There's another Fletchling. All right. Let's go ahead and heal up real quick. I like how the music, like, casually shifts. Oh, I just left Nimona there? Wow. All right, so we're healing up our Fletchling, and um, we are going to get some Pokeballs, and we're going to head on up to the school. Handy functions to remember. Okay, literally never used any of those, so that's cool. Or did you know that already? All right, come back and see us whenever you need. Okay, let's go ahead and get our stuff. Pokemart. I'd like to buy. All right, so let's... Um, no, we don't need a potion. We need a Pokeball. We're going to go... To, uh, we're going to go like 14, 15. How about that? Because I think it's going to be a little while until we get um, a Great Ball. And then let's... Get two revives. And let's go ahead and get two Poke Dolls as well. Uh, you know what? Let's also get a Paralyze Heal. Let's kind of get like a little bit of everything. Two Awakenings. Um, I'm sure we're not going to get Frozen anytime soon, but let's just go ahead and get that because. Um, I'm concerned like that. And so we have our burn heal, and then let's go ahead and get two antidotes as well. All right, so we got our stuff and spent pretty much all the money that our mom gave us, but that's okay. We are very well stocked. All right, let's go on up to the school. Well, how did we miss that item over there? like I walked by it like two or three times. And it was, it was an antidote. Okay. All right. What is this? Oh, okay. I don't know why. I was like so thrown off. I thought it was a... I thought it was like a shortened toad scroll. No. Toad's... Toad's cool. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I was just a little thrown off there. I think, yeah, I think you can take a peck because you're a little bit stronger.
All right, let's see if we can catch it now without damaging it too much. All right, cool. All right, so stuff is leveling up. This is good. Welcome to the team, Spupa. If Rufflet attacks this Pokemon by pecking at it, it will retaliate with its sharp fur and poisonous black powder. Wait a minute. Scatterbug? Yeah, doesn't Scatterbug evolve into Spupa? Yeah, it does. Okay. And then Spupa evolves into, I think, Vavillion? Is that, what it, is that what it is? Oh, hey, what's going on, buddy? I think it's funny how all the baby Pokemon are, like, super easily accessible in the, um... Are you... You're, you are a rock type, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Okay. Um... Oh, boy. Yep, okay. All right, let's 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 get destroyed. Okay, so let's go into Quaxley. Um, but I think it's so funny how all the baby Pokemon are, like, super easily accessible in, uh, in the early part of the game. That is just... I don't know. I think it's just funny how... Uh, but it's also very fitting. I mean, why should they be, like, hard to obtain or, like, Pokemon that are, like, only available, like, later in the game? It would kind of make sense that you should be able to find them relatively easy and early on. So I think it's a good spot to have them here. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and catch our Bonsly. Bonsly and Sudowoodo always throw me off because I feel like they should be grass types but they're not um i honestly don't care if you learn fury swipes because you're not going to be part of the team psyduck so that's yeah, all right the only reason why i'm keeping some of these pokemon oh i didn't mean to do that um the only reason why i'm keeping some of these pokemon on the team even though they're not going to be part of the team is purely just because if something happens to our permanent members um then I at least have something to... Do I... Oh, I didn't catch a swap at. Um, then I at least have something to throw into, you know, into a battle. Um, as just a backup. Oh, I probably should have healed a Fletchling. Sorry, buddy. Ooh, big pecs. All right, that is a good ability. I'm glad that we have that. That is really, really good. All right, let's see if we can catch this school vet without getting hurt, because I don't want my Fletchling to die. All right, let's um, explore just for a little bit more, and then we'll head to the school. Um, I just want to make sure we're catching as much as we can early on. I like how school vet looks like a super basic squirrel. Like, same as, like, Komala, that just looks like a super basic koala. I don't know. I just, I think it's pretty neat how, uh, how Pokemon, a certain Pokemon can just be, like, super, um, uh, super basic in their designs. Oh, before I keep going, let's, uh, go ahead and heal up Fletchling. All right, so you're all healed up. Heading to school. Okay, alright, alright, okay. What's up, buddy? Got time to battle a fella like me a little on your uh like me on your way to school. Alright, floating floating Pokeball there. Alright, that's cool. Ruben the janitor. So if you're gonna introduce yourself as a janitor, are you working right now and just not doing your job? What are you cleaning up out here? Oh, great. Yawn. Gotta love that. All right. Um, you know, um, let's go ahead and switch out and put 
Uh, oh, yeah, let's go ahead and use Ralts. Uh, and use that psychic um, confusion move. And uh, let's take out this Gulpin. Oh, cool. All right. So what if I didn't switch out? You're just going to use Yawn twice. That's cool. All right, let's see if we can take you out in one shot. Nice. All right. Do I still... Do I fall asleep? No, I don't. Okay, cool. I think that was a good addition to the game. Uh, I forget where they added that in, but, like, if you were going to get a move that was going to affect your status... Or, like, if there was a move that was going to affect your status, but if you... Even if you beat the Pokemon... Um you would still get afflicted. So, like, in the earlier games, I still would have um, fallen asleep at the end of the battle. Um, at least if I remember correctly. Uh, but then... Oh, I heard something. What was that? What are you? Sunkern, huh? Nice. Um, but, yeah, then they shifted that to where I beat the Pokemon. So now I'm not going to uh, to fall asleep. Oh, okay, I'm so glad I did Quick Attack and not anything else because Homie is hanging on for dear life right now. I think we're doing pretty well with our uh, our team members here. Um, we gotta get, Actually, I gotta switch Ralt in because now he's kind of falling behind. She's falling behind. All right, it suddenly falls out of the sky in the morning. Knowing it's weak, it simply feeds until it evolves. That's cool. All right. Um, Sunkern. Sunkern is such an interesting Pokemon because I think Sunkern is a really, a really cute Pokemon. Um, but I don't like Sunflora. Uh, okay. Whoops. Oh, that's a. No, it's a Shrewdle. Okay. Well, you're a poison type, so I'll actually just take you out. Whoa, okay. That was a nice critical hit. Okay, that's cool. That's, I didn't need one. Um, hmm. Let's go ahead and switch out, and we'll throw Fletchling out. All right, let's go Ember. I'm always so cautious fighting poison types because I can never remember how many of them have the, um, was it poison point ability or it's something, but they, they have like an ability where if you physically touch them, then they um, can poison you. All right. So we got our stuff here. Let's go ahead and heal him up. And we will whoop, we'll heal Fletchling. All right, let's see if we can get f maybe Ralts up to level... Up to level um, 10. Level 10. Shouldn't be too hard. But at this rate, actually, nope, that wasn't smart, because, well, is he a psychic and fairy type already? Okay, so I actually, I think I'm good. I was worried about the bug type move, but I think the fairy typing is uh, helping us out there. All right, so this is not going so well, so let's throw Fletchling out. String shot, huh? All right. No problem. No problem. All right, let's go Ember. And <laughs> we still were fast enough to, to attack first. All right, quick attack. And we'll see you later, Tarantula. All right, so we got our Ralts to level 8. Oh, Nice, cool. Scatterbug's evolving. 
We'll get our spupa. Nice. Learn to protect. All right, cool. All right, let's heal up Ralts. Let's go ahead and heal up uh, Quaxley, too. All right, let's see. Um, uh, let's see, so there's a Psyduck over there. Oh, is that a what I think it is? Yes, it is. <laughs> All right. So we have a semi-permanent member of the team that will be joining us here. Uh, Whooper. Um, Claude Sire is a pretty awesome Pokemon. All right, let's... I don't think this is going to kill it. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, there's another one up there. Awesome. All right. Uh, let's go for him. Oh, level 8. Even better. All right, so we will not be using Confusion again, even though it's a higher level. Um, uh, okay, so let's swap out... Um, and then let's, ooh, okay, let's go, yeah, let's go Quaxley, and we'll use Wing Attack. Um, Clotsire is a pretty awesome Pokemon. The poison and ground typing is, uh, really helpful in a lot of instances, and so that'll be a somewhat permanent member of the team, um, unless we find something better. See? Poison Point. There you go. Just like I was talking about earlier. All right. Uh, let's... Yeah, let's go wing attack. All right, cool. Sorry, Quaxley. But it's a good thing we bought those antidotes. All right, let's throw out our Pokeball. My boy Psyduck is so confused. I feel so bad for him. All right, so we got our Whooper. And we're going to add him to the team. After losing, its ter uh, after losing a territorial struggle, Whooper began living on land. The Pokemon changed over time, developing a poisonous film to protect its body. That is a very good um, explanation for Paldea and Wooper. All right, so we are going to... I wish that the auto heal would also take care of status afflictions. But I guess that's asking for too much. All right. And then we're going to swap out. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm going to move him over. And we're going to take out Psyduck. All right. Cool. Um, hold on. And then we're going to want to heal you up. All right. Now we're good. All right, so let's see if we can get our Ralts up. Oh, what's going on, buddy? Squovet. Uh, now let's look for something that Ralts will be uh, strong against. Whoopa. Whooper's sound, or his cry, I guess, is what you could call it, um, is so nostalgic for me. Every single time I hear Whoopers cry, it immediately takes me back to the gold and silver days. Um, obviously, because that's where the original Whooper was. Um, but yeah, all right. Hey, let's go ahead and do another trainer battle. Let me show you this awesome looking Pokemon I just caught. Is it a Paldean Whooper by chance? Because um, you're about to get wrecked. Choodle, all right. Uh, 
All right, so we're gonna go and just do a confusion. Nice. All right, cool. Hey, all right, level nine. Hypnosis, yes. That is going to be very helpful for certain Pokemon that we want to catch. That will need to be asleep. Nice. I guess just looking cool doesn't cut it. You got it right, buddy. Got to be able to back up your threats, bro. Scatterbug is just sleeping. All right, so we got a bunch of... Ooh, you know what? We're going to throw Quaxley out, and we're going to have Quaxley take all of these... Oh, that's right. Wait, no, but why aren't you just using your... Oh, that's right, because he's not even a fire type yet. All right. I was wondering why he wasn't um, using a super effective move, and I thought... That was because um, Fletchling was a fire type already, but it's not. So, all right, let's uh, get Ralt back up here, and let's see if we can't get something else. Got another Lechonk. I heard something. Hop-up, I think that's what it was. Yeah, it was a hop-up. Got all the Lechonks in the world. Whoops. How did I miss that? Okay, there we go. Alright, let's get this Ralt up to a level 10 super quick. I think we might actually pause the ep- or, you know, stop the episode after we um, get him up to a level 10. So that way we can be prepped to go into the school. Nice. Way to go, Ralts. Very, very nice. Uh, don't need any of you. All right, let's get going. Ooh, hey, what is up, buddy? What's up, Pichu? Let's see if we can just catch you. Let's see if we can catch you, Pichu. Probably not. I was wrong. All right, I'll take it. Nice. All right, Quaxley's level uh, 13, Aqua Jet. All right. All right, let's see. So that is a physical, and that's 40. That's special and 40. All right, so let's go... Do, 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 do. Let's go with Workup. All right. I probably should have capped Workup. I think I can ch still change that, though. It is unskilled at storing electric power. Any kind of shock causes it to discharge energy spontaneously. All right, cool. I've always wanted a Pichu. All right, let's see. Let's, uh, let's see if there's something else that we can perhaps get. Let's see if we can climb up here. Mm, that's too steep. All right. All right. All right. I'm just trying to look for something that we could be super effective against because I don't 
want to uh, have to switch out again. Um, but let's see. Actually, yeah, let's just fight this guy. This will probably get us to level 10, and then we'll stop the episode here. This guy, my bad. Um, <laughs> Pop quiz. What happens when a Pokemon's HP runs out? Well, I think I'm going to actually have to ask you that at the end of this match. Sorry, Paula. Slack off, huh? All right. Uh, you know what? I am going to switch out because I forgot that Ralts is not uh, doing so well. All right, let's switch out to Quaxley. All right. Let's uh, use our Aqua Jet. How about that? Good job. Truant. Man, gotta love that ability. I think it's... I, I think it's every other turn that he just can't... You know, isn't gonna do anything. Okay, so we need actually a little bit more for alts. Okay. The answer is, as you can see, they get too exhausted to fight. You got it. All right, let's um, heal up Ralts, and let's go ahead, and you know what? Let's go ahead and do Lechonk. How about that? All right, let's go. I feel like with Lechonk being a bigger boy, then we should be able to get a little bit more XP to kind of get us through the battle. Now, okay, so that's 50, and that's 40. All right, let's go Confusion. Oh, there's this Pocus Hunter right here. Okay, that's good. All right, let's see where that gets us. Getting there, getting there. We need one more. All right, let's see what else we can possibly get. Oh, I think there's a trainer right up there, so we'll probably end with this trainer. up bud guess this is it i came to mesagoza to make some deliveries but let's have a quick battle yes sir mr courier rickety huh now i don't think that you're a steel type yet But I think you do have access to a dark type move early on. All right, so we're actually good as long as you... All right, cool. We're good. Sweet. Sorry, buddy. Oh, man, we still need one more. Wow. Guess I delivered you a win. Thanks, buddy. Oh, and we have a Lechonk right there. Okay, so we... All right, we don't have any more potions. All right. Well, let's go ahead and take out this little chunk. And let's get ourselves to level 10, hopefully. And um, if you've stuck around for this long, um, definitely drop a comment down below. Let me know how you're enjoying the series. Um, planning to um, release more episodes um, as frequently as you'd like, uh, honestly. Um, so if you like a couple episodes a week, happy to do that. If you are thinking, you know, once a week, um, definitely don't want to spam it at all. So let me know. All right, cool. So we did that and we are a level 10. So we're going to go ahead and end the episode here because we are right at the gates of the school. So again, really appreciate you sticking around. And uh, if you like this video, make sure you drop a like, drop a comment down below and let me know how you liked this episode. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.